CMOS farmers now can maximize their yields through a method called mariculture. Saeb, through its Climate Smart program, has partnered with a CMOS farmer in St. Patrick named Mr. Merriman to use bamboo as a replacement for plastic bottles for growing CMOS. It is a climate smart method of CMOS cultivation. Kenley Edwards, CSA coordinator attached to Saeb, says St. Patrick was chosen since a CMOS farmer there was already used using that method. Their intention is to extend this new practice to other CMOS farmers along the East Coast in coming weeks. The whole idea is to introduce, if I may say, a sustainable, um, renewable way of, of doing on harvesting and growing CMOS. So the idea is to replace the, the plastic bottles, which are pollutants, um, which are also unsightly, with, with something that, that is, if I may say, more um, eco-friendly. And this is where we introduced the bamboo raft technology. So the idea is to use bamboos as a flotation device um, to cultivate your CMOS, um, which is eco-friendly. And it's something that we hope and that other CMOS producers in Grenada um, can use that type of um, practice um, to replicate. You know, this method has been done in other countries of the region and was found to be very viable. So it is practiced it is practice in, the, in the East, in the Far East, if you check Indonesia, um, those countries there, Malaysia, those areas, those eastern um, eastern countries, it's practiced um, heavily there. Um, in terms of the Caribbean, St. Lucia is one of the areas where it is also also practiced. Um, based on the, the information that we got from from the beneficiary, is that that type of of, of method, the yield is, is 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 exceptional. Basically, you get good yield from it. You basically could 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 farm in a small area, it's called mariculture, right? That's what it is. You could actually do that in a small area and maximize your output. So it's, it's one of the things that, 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 that you could use, you know, like I said, to expand on your production, utilizing a small area, but yet for all you can maximize your output. Edward says he must thrive best during the rainy season as the nutrients needed for growth are leached from rivers and estuaries around that time. He said knowing when to cut the bamboo is important to make sure that you cut the bamboo at the right time um the right timing so timing is important so based on the science you cut it at a particular time of the moon um those guys who do the cutting they will know it has to be a mature bamboo as well and um and in terms of the lifespan you could get at least six months out of it so within a year you could change out twice and in terms of the peak for CMOS cultivation the peak time is really around july august around the rainy season time christina john GBN News.